Ntwale Fu, who is a, um, he's the king of the gypsies. Um, basically, he's the king of the like, song, dance, happy people in the show. I'm uh, Quasimodo, and I'm Ronan Green. I play Esmeralda, who's um, a gypsy from Paris. Um, she comes out, her first entrance is in this big dance number where she comes out and she's dancing with the tambourine, trying to entertain the audience and make money to survive off of. Uh, I'm Nadek and I play Archdeacon Claude Frollo. He's the uh, Archdeacon of Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. The Hunchback of Notre Dame is a really complex, touching story. Um, it's about this boy who was born deformed, the son of a gypsy and a man of uh, Paris. Eventually kind of escapes and the whole show is about how he and uh, along with uh, Frollo and uh, Phoebus fell in love with a girl. And uh, yeah, that kind of produces a lot of trouble for the three of them. And he's been isolated his whole life in this bell tower being watched over by Archdeacon Frollo and he doesn't really get to interact with other people. He watches below um, on the street from the top of the bell tower as he rings the bells every day, wondering what it must be like to live like a normal person. I started singing in like kindergarten with like music class in elementary school, but then I had the option to join the before school choir in third grade. So I joined that and then it started getting, it started picking up speed and we started doing more songs. Well, this one differs a lot because it's like a really vocally demanding show. It's like ninety percent of the show is music, so like it's all it's all like vocal endurance and just sing, 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 you know. Um. Well, in most high school uh, theater, there's a general lack of boys, right? But we have uh, in the musical this year, there are a lot of boy parts. Like out of the five leads, four of them are boys. So uh, that's different than a lot of high school theaters, and I'm lucky that uh, we have a strong community of boys. It's a lot of pressure, this year especially, because this role, Esmeralda, is a huge task to handle and something that I've never really had to take on before, very out of my comfort zone. Oh, well, this is like the most uh, challenging role I've ever had to play, like vocally, physically, because like I'm hunched over the whole show and uh, like I've ripped my jeans from falling three days in a row now, so yeah, it's pretty uh, demanding. Um, I think the main part is allowing yourself to be fully in the character and not yourself. So when you get up on stage, they're watching Esmeralda, they're not watching me. My favorite part is probably like actually doing the shows because like the, just like the energy on like a, the night of the show is just, it's really great and everyone's like, we've been practicing for a long time so everyone's like prepared. Uh, uh, definitely the friendships. Yeah, we're all really tight. Yeah. I think it's the relationships that you build like over the course of the process, the friends that you make and the times that you have getting to make such a beautiful piece of art together. It's really, the people are just so amazing. I love singing with all of my friends. Uh, we are on stage the whole time, so you kind of have a bond with people that you sit on stage for two hours with, uh, not really talking. <laughs> I would probably just say being around with my friends because uh, we spent a lot of time together over the course of like three, three, four months. So. And, uh, I hope I'm able to handle the pressure, but you get like a humongous adrenaline rush. It's unlike anything else when you're about to perform. 